Nikki. Oh, Nick. And together we're Nikki, Nick. I hope it's not too dark in here. He looks kind of dark on the thing, but it's okay. We'll okay. fix the lighting okay. in our program. Yeah, anyway. sorry about that. Uh, we're using our different camera. Because the yeah. other camera's battery is too low and it takes a long charge. Yeah, it takes And then it'll die time. halfway. Yeah, and we're, we're going to try to record a lot of videos today. Well, we're so. <laughs> using an iPad instead of a laptop today. We're just or the new PC. things up completely today. And on our last two videos, we switched things up. We sat in two chairs last time. So. Yeah, we're making... We're, experimenting pretty much yeah. on different setups. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be a less of a pain. Yeah. <laughs> to end. What is this? What are we watching? Huh? We are watching 10 Most Terrifying oh. Places in the Universe. I forgot iPads for touch. I, yeah, you were just like, how does one? Um, I'm really excited about this video because uh, I saw like the thumbnail picture and it looked kind of cool. It said something about the like hand of God or something. I don't know, but it looked like it was more dangerous and terrifying. <laughs> Have we seen this? I don't think so. I'm ready. Okay. You ready? ready to jump is in? this by Riddle? No. This... Uh, let's see. Uh, we, we say like, how do you work touch screen? This is by All Time, all -time ten. Yeah. All Time, all -time tens. tens. I think we've watched something by All Time Tens before. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Set. Here. Are you ready? Gregory? Alright. Let's go. 10 most terrifying places in the universe. It's like hot in here, y'all. Yeah, I'm dying. And I have a long sleep chain on. Wasp 12 Imagine a planet so dense that diamond is as abundant there as limestone is on Earth. Well, Can you imagine if it crashed on Earth? Right. away deep in the Auriga constellation is Wasp 12b, a planet where that is exactly the case. We'd better get in there quick though, because the planet is being literally devoured by its own sun. Oh, okay. Wasp oh, right. orbits to start at a distance of only 3.4 million kilometers. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's less than 1 44th of the distance between the Earth and our sun. As a result, the planet is being ripped to shreds. That's its surface terrifying. temperature is over 2,000 degrees Celsius, and the colossal oh, gravitational forces acting upon it have skewed it into an egg shape. At the moment, it's about three times That's the size insane. of Jupiter, but it's losing six trillion kilograms of mass every single second. Oh my gosh! It's estimated that the planet may only have another ten million years left until okay. it's entirely consumed. Before the planet's I thought it'd be like three not ten. Scientists had speculated that events like this could occur, but this is the first ever time it's actually been observed. Number nine, Ooh. supermassive. I can't wait to see when it planet. happens. You'd think supermassive black holes are terrifying enough, seeing as they're unexplorable space demons from which <laughs> nothing can escape, not even light. But there's one in a galaxy about 2 billion light years away, me. which has a colossal magnetic field that's generating the highest known electric current in the universe. Thanks, Whoa. nature. The galaxy in question is 3C303, and the current at its heart was discovered by scientists at the University of Toronto in 2011. At one quintillion amps, I don't hear which about is any of this. 18 zeros, the current is the equivalent of a trillion bolts of lightning, or enough to power all of Earth's light bulbs for 12 billion years. Oh my god. I thought that the current right. has been driven out into space as far as 150,000 light years away. Considering that the Milky Way galaxy has a radius of only 100,000 light years, Can you imagine if they harnessed that? Damn far. Number eight. Right. That wouldn't that's work very well. Believe it or not, this image is not photoshopped. Nicknamed the Screaming Skull, it's an X-ray image of a galaxy oh, cluster known as the Perseus Cluster, yeah. taken by the Chandra Observatory Telescope. The Perseus Cluster, which sits 320 million light years away, contains thousands of galaxies. But you can't actually see any of them here. Instead, what you're looking at is a 50 million degree cloud of intracluster gas. It's thought that the ghoulish form was created by a supermassive black hole at the cluster center, with the holes in the gas created by colossal explosions of energetic particles. Similarly spooky is the crazy. Sun's ghost hand of God. It's crazy how long it all takes. That's 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 which was produced Isn't by the remnants of a star that exploded yeah. in a supernova millions of years ago. Millions and of years. for the Lord of the Rings fans out there, there's this infrared image that looks amazingly similar to the iconic Eye of Sauron. In actual fact, oh my god, that, I thought that was the photo. Which is surrounded by a large ring of debris as planets form around it. That's creepy. Number seven, extreme Somebody's pumpkin watching pumpkin star. Extreme pumpkin star. From is that it? Hands oh. another iconic Halloween symbol. These are extreme pumpkin stars. Oh, okay. 18 of them were discovered by it. NASA's Kepler and Swift missions in 2016 in the constellations of Cygnus and Lyra, about 6,000 light years from Earth. Don't let their fairly whimsical name fool you. Extreme pumpkin stars are badass. They rotate at Ooh, I didn't speeds, expect the bad words. which is why they've ended up being squished into these quirky pumpkin <laughs> shapes. These stars rotate in just a few days on average. That's scarily quick compared to our sun, which takes almost a month despite being much smaller. 
This dizzying rotation increases the regularity of unpredictable solar activities, like solar flares and sunspots, essentially sending the stars into overdrive and causing radio and wow. magnetic disturbances millions of kilometers away. And then there's the X-rays that these bad boys produce. Each of the 18 pumpkin stars discovered produce X-rays at more than 100 times the peak level ever seen from our sun. One of the suns, KSW 71, is 10 like times larger there, than like our sun and produces X-ray emissions yeah. that are over 4,000 like times greater. Number six, TRES 2B. Over how old everything is, though. This is TRES 2B officially the darkest planet that NASA has ever discovered. Ooh. It sits about 750 light years away in the constellation of Draco, orbiting the catchly oh, named star <laughs> GSC 03549-02811, also known as Kepler-1 to its friends. It's a gas giant with a similar composition to Jupiter and orbits Kepler-1 at a relatively intimate 5 million kilometers. TRES-2b reflects less than 1% of all so light cool. that hits it, which is less than coal or black acrylic paint. Adding to its spookiness, it's actually a mystery as to why the planet is so damn dark. One potential explanation is that the How gases that it? make up its surface, vaporize sodium, <sighs> potassium, that is kind of like, like, so it's like absorb the actual light. Alternatively, oh, okay. it could be due to a lack of reflective clouds in its atmosphere, like those that make Jupiter so bright. And in case all-consuming, soul-destroying, inescapable darkness wasn't terrifying crazy enough, how they found it, this though. planet is also flipping boiling. You know? It glows oh. deep, deep red, and scientists believe its temperature could reach up to 1,100 degrees Celsius. Number 5. RxJ1347 Okay, so 1,100 degrees Celsius on TRES-2b is pretty damn hot, but that'd be a cool winter's day in comparison to the temperatures in our next terrifying place. RxJ1347, a gas cloud in the constellation of Virgo, some 5 billion, light, 5 billion light years away, is the Isn't hottest in place in the whole see universe. That? Temperatures regularly reach a simply that. unfathomable 300 million degrees, Jeez, which is 20 please. times hotter than the center of the sun. The cloud surrounds a cluster of galaxies like that's that? approximately yeah. 5 million light years wide. So it's not like it's a tiny astronomical blip, it's a ginormous searing mass. It's thought that this celestial hot flush was caused by two galaxy swarms colliding together at ridiculous speeds, probably over 4,000 kilometers a second. According to assistant professor Naomi Ota of the Tokyo University of Science, if that were the case, it would constitute the most violently energetic celestial event since the Big Bang itself. Oh man. Number four, the Boomerang Nebula. From one extreme to another, this is the Boomerang Nebula, aka the coldest known place in the universe. Like super the nebula hot, is super a huge cold. cloud of gas being expelled from a dying star in the constellation Centaurus. Astronomers have found that the temperatures could drop as low as half a degree above absolute zero. If a human were exposed to temperatures this cold, their blood would freeze, all the atoms in their body would stop moving, and all the body's processes would stop. How long that take? That's so what I was like, how fast is that? Great like, idea to choose the boomerang nebula for your next It'd probably be like instantaneous. Yeah. Being totally frigid and hospital, <laughs> the nebula is actually one of the most valuable locations for astronomical research. That's because it's not yet a fully fledged planetary nebula, as its central star hasn't ionized its surroundings. In simpler terms, it's still a dying star, not a dead one. This specific stage in the star's life cycle tends to last only about 1,000 years, which, in the grand scheme of things, is just a tiny blinking cosmic time. We are therefore incredibly lucky to witness an event like this in our lifetime, as it could reveal answers to complicated questions about the life and death of stars. Number three, How many does it have left? That's what I was wondering. Okay. Normally, when a star dies, it explodes in a massive supernova, and then that's it. Kaput. Kaput. But in some very rare cases, there is a way they can be revived from their astronomical grave. They can become zombie stars. What? Let's backtrack a bit. During the final stage of a star's life, they become a white dwarf. Okay. This is when all of a star's nuclear energy has been used up, and they just cool and fade into nothingness over several billion years. However, on some occasions, these dying stars can steal energy from younger neighboring stars. In fact, they've been known to gobble up enough fuel from a neighboring star that it triggers an extraordinary nuclear explosion. This can be powerful enough to revive the dying star, like a zombie surviving through eating the brains of the living. Officially known as a Type 1a supernova, these zombie stars are not just freaky, they're That's super crazy. useful. Because they're so bright and consistent in that brightness, they're really handy for figuring distances in the universe. Yeah. This means that scientists can track the expansion of the universe, furthering our understanding of how gravity and dark energy can I don't understand anything about that. <laughs> I want to know more about dark energy. It was so interesting as I mentioned watching back in number video nine, about black, black holes. are pretty terrifying as it is. It's thought that our galaxy alone contains 100 black million holes black holes, holes yeah. and they remain one of the most mysterious phenomena in the universe. At least they're all super far away and happy gobbling up planets and space dust in their own little corner of the universe, right? 
Alright. When astronomers realized that the Milky Way was slightly warmer on one side than the other, and that it was moving through space at the surprisingly speedy speed of 600 <laughs> seconds. Conclusion? Over billions of years, something is slowly but surely pulling us and everything near us closer to itself. And there's no escape. Where? The only force that can act so quickly at such great distances, and on whole galaxies at a time, is gravity. Ooh, that's this creepy. means there must be something huge out there that's exerting an unrelenting gravitational pull. One major problem with our understanding of the Great Attractor is that it lays within the so-called Zone of Avoidance. What? This is an area of space that sits beyond the Milky Way in the direction of the constellation Centaurus. The Zone of Avoidance is completely obscured because of all the space junk, stars, gas and dust that's cluttering up our own galaxy. We therefore have no way of seeing what could be causing this massive gravitational anomaly. Could it be a ginormous black hole, a red supergiant? Or maybe something that has never been discovered. So something before. is pulling us. Pulling so everything. The ten most terrifying places in the universe. Which did you find the most nightmare inducing? If you're the first one, one, the last, the very first, the last. Made this great clip number one thing. Yeah. Number one and number two. Is something pulling? Space. Super interesting everything? stuff. Everything. So make sure oh. you check so. it out. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs> the sounds at the end. Yeah, what the heck was that? <laughs> I was like screaming in a baby or something. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Like, I didn't know, like, I think what makes me kind of messed up is the black holes. Yeah, that one is the nobody can one. technically explain them. And gravity. People have a hard time. I mean, they know about it, but it's like. Yeah, I mean, like. It's still a mystery, though. Yeah, I think everything like, in the universe is just one big mystery. Like, we just do our best to explain. The fact that we're getting it. pulled kind of blows my mind. Yeah. If anybody has any videos or recommendations about the. Great attraction? Something attraction? Yeah. I already forgot it. Yeah. Um, leave a link down in the comments. Yeah, and I'd I wanna... like to actually watch a full, because we watched a full bit video on black holes. However, I don't think the video that we watched on black holes um, was talking about the wandering black holes. That was just like a whole new level of what yeah, the heck. I knew that. But I, I didn't, didn't know they wandered I couldn't like remember that. there was one 10,000 or 10. 10,000 light years away. But if they've been in our galaxy before, something. who's to say, like, if things are like slingshotting these things, then it doesn't end up. <laughs> okay, I mean, obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. That but if you guys like, have a video Man, on wandering black holes, I'd like to see, like, like how much danger are we truly in? Like, if it can slingshot like that. I get a panic attack if they just, just the thought of it going well, right like, over you. You're gone. You, like, would you know? Yeah, like how, like how fast. Well, I guess that's a question for you guys. Pretty if anyone, because like, y'all like enlighten us a whole bunch, and we can look this Pretty up. Fast. But it's yeah, we like that. mind boggling. Like there's so much stuff that you can't even get your like you get it, but you don't get it. No, but like how fast would it suck us up? I don't. Know. Like would you it get suck? It, but you don't get like would it suck us up so fast that like we'd all be gone in the blink of an eye? <laughs> or would it suck us up like nope? Because we're a like a giant mass. Would it suck us up so slowly that we all just like stretched and died? I think it would seem like if somebody was further away, it would look like it was stretching us, but we were already. But we were already done. Yeah, that's interesting because sure like it's an because those other like stars. I just like, don't know what's in a black were hole. Were stretched like the pumpkin one was like yeah. stretched. So I was curious to that see. Was that, that was that one. Huh? The egg shape. Well, there's a pumpkin. The pumpkin seed one like was also oh. stretched. So I was just but, curious um, if like that's what our planet would do. Would it like stretch? But would we feel the stretch, or would we just die? It just rips you. That's, that's nice. I was just I'm really thought. curious about um, like what is inside a black hole. Like, yeah, is it a portal? Like... Is there something powering well, didn't, it? What, There's like a whole bunch of different theories. Was a picture taken of inside a black hole? Not inside. 
of a black hole yeah, one. Yeah, it became a meme for a while. Yeah. Well, I don't know why. Like, I, I think it was a female that discovered it, right? Like, that took the picture. Which is part of the team. Yeah, but yeah, but still, like, uh, the to me, that's like mind blowing. That's not. That they finally got a picture. And yeah. Like, a few decades ago, it was like a laughing stock if you believed in that. Yeah, but it's like for it's real, for real. And now, like, and then like of it. another few years from now, it's gonna be like an actual danger. Like it's gonna be like they can talk. <laughs> hurricanes, tornadoes, black holes. No, the black hole can talk. <laughs> Here I go. But anyway, if you guys have any more videos like this, we love watching like stuff about the universe, stuff about the the ocean, anything scientific is any enlightenment <laughs> yeah <laughs> gives us a little more information than we had before but if you guys want to watch more of us make sure to check out the description box below or snapchat instagram make sure to i hope this is right subscribe subscribe right. and yeah. like always thank you for support thank you for the love we love you guys have a good day good night good evening Bye. and i almost forgot all my stuff to say again <laughs> Bye.